Race number five, and there are some scratchings to pass on here too. In fact, they are four above all is now Wood on Fire for Derek Long. And the other withdrawal is number nine, Plenty Plenty. It's now top, top T for Ruin Meyer. The fifth is a class four over the 1,200 metres and Stoicism is on the class drop. Kokoshi Masu, both wins course and distance. Solar partner, no luck last time. Mr Fun's finally drawn a gate. Hoss improved with his first look around Happy Valley. Infinite power, cheek pieces off. Shadow roll and blinkers go on. Our class act had blood in the track here and lame last start. He's been back to the trials and a fiery flying has had a stable change. Move from Tony Millard to join David Hayes, Don. Pace should be good here, and Mr Fun has finally got a draw at start number four. He's had 11, 12 and 12 and three runs. He's got barrier four here for Hugh Bowman. Outside of that, Solar Partner might be able to be a bit closer. He'll have to uh, probably go forward from barrier number 10. Uh, Paul and Infinite Power should have uh, the run of the race like he did last start. Yeah, and he, he's got blinkers on for the first time. Infinite Power, Hardy West can get himself into a nice position. As will the horse coming into the race, Top Top T, who's the last start winner, our class act. He'll want a bit of pace on because he gets back. All right, we're going to start with an interview firstly, though. Oversubscribe went really close last time. Alexi Bedell rides again this week, and he spoke with Nick. Alexi, oversubscribed is a horse that you don't have too much to do with, but when you do, um, it usually results in a success. Um, he went close last time, but only just denied. Yes, that's right. Uh, I wish I can uh, carry, carry in this way. Uh, the horse has been good to me. Like He's, he's always uh, run on, on the line, and um, He's not, he's not the easiest, like you, you want him to relax early, early stage and he, and he can finish, finish his off well. Um, hopefully we could have a smooth race from a good barrier. There looks to be plenty of pace on Alexi, I guess that's, that's probably key to his chance, is it? Uh, the fact that there is always a hot tempo up, up front. Yeah, that would certainly help uh, anyway, that's going to help me to settle with the horse and uh, hopefully he can uh, finish his uh, strong. I mentioned his record for you. You've ridden him three times. I think you were supposed to ride him another time when he was withdrawn, but two wins, a second. What is it that clicks between you and this horse? Is it, is it just a riding style, or do you enjoy riding him, or, or what is it? I don't know. We just get along <laughs> together very well, or maybe we've just been very lucky together. Uh, but anyway, yeah, he's been, he's been good to me, and I expect him to run a good race. Uh, he tries very hard, so if, he's, if it's a smooth race, he'll, he'll, run, he'll run on. And I guess off, off a mark of 49, the handicap has put him up a couple for last time. He does look like he's off a, a feasible a feasible handicap mark once again. Yeah, he seems to be in good form and uh, his writing is pretty good. Well, let's hope you can enhance that already good record. Thank you, yes. There he is, Alexi Bedell. So we move on from him, Tom, to our first replay and it's Kokoshi Masu, drawn barrier number nine, gets that uh, weight allowance claim for Angus Chung. And he ran well last to start a thought to Kokoshi Masu, where he's got uh, 10 pound claims that's going to bring him into uh, calculations here with only 124 pounds on his uh, back. Uh, beaten here by uh, flying on the turf, maybe a few question marks over the, the strongness of that form, Paul? Yeah, and they did finish in a bit of a, a bunch too, didn't they? Look, he's got the apprentice on as well, and he's not a front runner, but sort of worries me a little bit. What about Hoss, Paul? This was his first look at Happy Valley. He was big odds this night. He was 77 to 1, and he charged at them late. Yeah, and he's come up favourite here. But um, look, it was a nice nice run from him, no doubt. This is his first start at Happy Valley. He's obviously found his uh, right place here. Drawn a little bit awkwardly in barrier number 8, but he gets Zach Purton aboard as well. Look, he, I'm going to include him. Yeah, he's, he's in a little bit of interference there late as well. Being a, a son of Fiorenta, he would have thought he was looking for a bit further than 1,200 metres. All right, so he's sticking at 1,200 at least for this week. Solar partner third here. He's last turning for home, Tom, and everything that could have gone wrong in this race did. Yep, it was right from when the, the starter pushed the button, uh, missed the start, and then uh, got uh, badly knocked over at about the 850 and uh, still did very well, Paul, to finish third, so which he was never entitled to do so with the running head. No, exactly. And he, he, look, he was brave. He went through that gap and finished off strongly. So, look, if anything goes his way this way, I think he can win this race. He does have a wider draw this week. He's out in barrier number 10. And finally, the standby starter comes in here, Paul Top Top T, who was pretty impressive. In fact, there's been little wrong with both of his performances. Yeah, I've included him, actually. Top Top T. I thought he, he won really nicely. Uh, Ruin Meyer aboard. He's drawn uh, well, Top Top T. So I, th I think he's a chance. There was a lot to like about his first run. And then uh, he was... 
still 17 to 1 in the market uh, when he won uh, this night over uh, Fortune uh, Carrier. So, look, it was a good performance. 28 days since uh, then. Good draw. He's definitely in. OK, so good report for top top T, but you've got to stick with your unlucky runner from last time. Yeah, I think, yeah, Solar Partner. I think, if, you know, if he gets an ounce of luck, he can easily win this race. So, he's on top. Uh, Hoss, uh, look, he, he obviously likes it here at Happy Valley. It was a good run from him. Mr Fun. Uh, now, this horse has had the three starts. He dropped out last time over to work hard, but he's drawn 11, 12 and 12. He's got a good draw in barrier number four and top, top T in there for fourth. Three, six, five and nine. Yeah, I've gone with uh, three here as uh, well, and that is a solar partner. Uh, very unlucky uh, last uh, time out. You can go back and watch the full race and see what happened there. But look, he charged uh, late last uh, start, uh, got closer than he was probably entitled to. Hoss goes in, uh, top, top T on that last uh, start performance, and hard to leave out at the moment to oversubscribe. To Alexi Bedell seems to click with this horse very well. Three, six, nine, and eight. The preview for race number five, which is the first leg of Wednesday night's Triple Trio.